Well, in my experience, it came out of aviation, and back in the 1980s and before, there was about one major plane crash a month, which is hard to imagine in this day and age. And eventually it got to such a level that in America, NASA funded some research under Professor Bob Helmreich at the University of Texas in Austin. And Bob and his team went and looked at what flight crew did. So they watched on flight decks, on real aircraft, and on simulated aircraft flights to see what it was that effective teams did and what ineffective teams did, and there were some of each. And they narrowed those down into specific behaviors, which was like the origins of really, I suppose, what was anti-pilot error training. And that has since developed into healthcare and nuclear power, ships, running railways, in fact, just about uh, any form of life. But it's really, it started, I think, in the modern sense of it, in terms of aviation. But that is the behavioral side, which is what I do. There is the rest of ergonomics, which is system, process, equipment, design as well. But in my opinion, the two go very much hand in hand. You can't have one without the other.